Since the invention of the printing press, finding ways to keep track of people's ingenious ideas, including the words and pictures that describe them, has been an evolving challenge. In the mid-1800s, curators and librarians began working on rules of coding and catalogs for serials, a particularly slippery category of published works in that their titles, names, dates, frequency, focus, and even publishers change often. Fast forward to 1975. With the pace of knowledge generation ramping up from year to year, librarians and governments the world over agreed on the need to coordinate efforts, and thus to establish the entity now known as the International Standard Serial Number International Centre. This Paris-based nonprofit organization links more than 90 ISSN national centers, all supported by governments and institutions with vested interests in information. To this day, the principle of applying unique numbers to titles underpins how the ISSN system organizes published works. By the 1990s, widespread public access to the internet created fantastic new opportunities and daunting new challenges for publishers, and hence for the ISSN International Centre, which responded by developing multiple online tools. The ISSN Register now holds more than 2.5 million titles. The International Centre works with global committees that write the standards for description and access. With the emergence of open access journals, the ISSN plays a key role in helping researchers with limited resources know where to publish, so their work will be easily found by target readers. The ISSN portal is the gateway to multiple services that connect knowledge creators and knowledge seekers. Recognizing that bytes are less stable than ink on paper, the ISSN International Centre works closely with archiving agencies. As automated workflows for data exchange become the norm, it is also creating open-linked data frameworks. Heading into its second half-century, the ISSN International Centre is still young in the 500-year history of preserving, sorting and serving up information. No doubt publishing technology will continue to evolve at an accelerated pace, but an overarching principle will remain core to the International Centre's activities. Saving the time of knowledge seekers.